Sorry, di ka marinig, sir. Sir Wax, di kita marinig. Sir Wax, di ito ka sa marinig. Sir Wax, di ka marinig. Sir, no audio ka po. Hello, good afternoon po. Sir Wax, no audio ka po. Sir Wax. Ayan, si Sir Wax po, hindi marinig. Hello po, good afternoon po. Mapang inyong koho si Sir Juan P. Tribe. Sir Wax, wala ka pong audio. Ako po ay bumabati mula Luz Sayas at Mindanao sa ating mga webinars participants. Um, alam ko po kayo nasa inyo pa rin tahanan at hinahangad po natin ang ating kaligtasan sa bawat isa, kaligtasan ng ating pamilya at kaligtasan ng buong sambayan ng Pilipino. Alam po natin na ang mga kapwa natin Pilipino ay may mga pasaway, dapat po na tayong tumulong pa rin sa kanila. So, kahit tayo ay nakakulong sa bahay, tuloy-tuloy po rin po ang ating learnings na makukuha. Napakapalad po natin ngayon mga guro dahil nandito Ayun. po ang Kaya pala na ang mga mga guro. Okay, nakamute pala ako sir eh. Kaya pala eh. Okay, magandang magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. So welcome again sa ating another series. Pasensya na po sa ating mga technical ano uh, difficulties, no? Ang hirap pag wala tayong operator. So this is uh, ano, a very hard time or moment para po sa isang ganitong klasing uh, activity. Sir Ron, you're still there? Magandang yes, tanghali sir. Sir Ron. Magandang tanghali. Ah, magandang. Okay. So, tayo po ngayon ay nasa another series. So, last series po ng uh, ating pong activity which is Capability Building on Action and Applied Research Formulation. So, last time, no, nung uh, last time, yung ating speaker, diniscuss po niya specifically ang patungkol po sa action research formulation. So, for this afternoon naman, no, with our resource speaker, ang ating pong i-discuss is about, okay, Applied. Research. Okay? So, kung ang action research po ay para sa mga guro, ang kanila pong respondent ay mga estudyante with applied, no? This is part po ng admin, no? Principal ng uh, mga admin na mag-conduct po ng isang uh, complete research para po sa innovation. Okay? So, magandang tanghali po sa ating pong mga taga-subaybay. Ang ating pong attendance ay nakapost na sa ating pong Uh, Power INC Group. So, maaari po ninyong apuntahan yung link para po sa inyong attendance. Okay? So, kamusta ka na, Sir Ron? No? Kanina, natapos tayo ng isang series naman sa uh, sa Lego, no? Integrating Concept with Technology oh, using Lego Story Visualizer at saka Lego uh, Designer, no? So, today naman, the last series naman with research, no? Na nakapokus po sa applied. So, kamusta po ang ating uh, mga... Uh, kaguruan sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. No, marami po tayong participants today. Uma nasa 3,000 plus po ang ating participants. Okay, let me check. Okay, bati ka muna, Sir Ron, sa ating mga participants. Ayun, nakabati na nga po ako sa kanina. Oh. Ano, wala ang audio mo po. Okay, nga, so, eh, bumoto ka. Po. Ay, bumoto. Uh, Mag-ano ka uli? Mag-greet. Oh, mula po sa School Division Office of Quezon, SPO Quezon, Balisin Elementary School, Puliro District. Pumabati po ako ng isang magatang hapon sa inyong lahat. Uh, yeah, nawala. Siya naman na nawala. Medyo marami atang gumagamit ngayon ng ating uh, uh, internet connection. Alam ko pong tayo ay busy, pero baka yung iba nagsasagot pa ba rin yan yung Lego? Saka oh, yung Lego. mga... Visual, visual Lego story. Visual Story. Oh. So, yun. Eh, na, Nabubulo din ako dyan kanina. So, okay. Focus, <laughs> so, focus okay, muna so, tayo ngayon sa 
applied research. Okay. So today po ang ating registration is still uh, receiving no ang ating pong uh, uh, current registration ay nasa 2913. Okay? So yan po ang ating bibigyan ng certificate kung kayo po ay makakagawa ng inyong magiging output for today. And of course, we are still on lockdown so we are expecting everybody to stay at home. No, keep safe everyone para hindi pa po magkaroon ng another extension ng ating lockdown. Kasi ang hirap din gumalaw, Sero, no? Pag nasa bahay ka lang, Opo. buti na lang, meron tayong mga uh, webinar activity na nagiging busy po tayong mga guro. And of course, no, because we are an educators, no, we want to continue our learnings and we're thankful to have this kind of activity na kung saan uh, the teacher can still, no, can still uh, acquire knowledge and skill para po magamit po nila sa kanilang mga classroom. Okay, so binabati po namin ang lahat ng mga kaguruan mula sa lahat ng division ng ating bansa, maging ating mga participants abroad na nagpa-participate sa atin kasi they are very much interested when it comes to research. May nagawa ka na bang research, Sir Ron? Opo, meron na po naman. Ba't Siyempre, naman? Hindi. <laughs> Oo, kasi requirement meron natin yan, no? requirements bago matapos ng education, yes. bago matapos ng master's, ay may mga research po. Ngayon nga naman po ay dapat ay laging applied research sa mga sa mga classroom, ay dapat ay may research din tayo, may individual research pa rin. So, okay. papalad po tayo mga gusto dahil meron po tayong webinars na yun. Dahil kung sa bakasyon lang din po, luluwas at luluwas pa rin, pupunta pa doon si, uh, mga seminar dito, seminar doon, ngayon, webinar na lang. Much more learnings pa rin po para sa ating mga kaguruan. Okay. So, so we are continuing po. our learners, uh, learning. No? Na natututo pa rin tayo kahit nandito po tayo sa loob ng ating mga bahay-bahay. Kamusta naman po yung ano natin, ang report ng DOH? Ano ba nangyari na sa COVID natin? Yan ang dahilan kung bakit tayo nasa bahay. Eh. Wala pa rin bawas ng ating mga Cases, almost 8,000 pa rin po ang ating cases. So, Naku, ang dami pa rin. No? Kasi ang dami pa rin matitigas na ulo. No? Ayaw sumunod. Papaano maglilift ng ECQ? Eh, talagang padami-padami. Ang 500 pa nga lamang, nakulong na kaagad tayo. Yung pa kayang 8,000 cases. So, kaya nga, hindi natin kasi sir din ma ano, hindi natin masisi yung ating mga kapwa uh, Pilipino, no, especially yung mga walang mga masyadong pinagkakakitaan. So they have to go out sa kanilang mga bahay para mag-provide ng mga food, no, and supply sa kanilang mga tahanan. So pero sana po, no, para po maiwasan po natin ang paglaga na palalo ng uh, sakit na COVID, ay eh, mag-stay home po tayo. Sundin po natin kung ano po ang sinasabi ng ating gobyerno. Tama, sir? No? Yes, join na lang kayo dito sa webinar namin, no, para matuto pa po kayo, no. Lalo na kung kayo po ay mga kaguruan. Okay, anyway, so Sir Ron, hindi na po natin patatagalin, no, para kasi baka mamaya antukin na naman yung ating mga uh, viewers, no, kasi tanghalin tapat pahinga na ngayon, no. So, you oh, sa ating mga sigat. participants, I know, uh, uh, they are preparing na their coffees, no, mga kape nila, no. Timpla-timpla na po kayo ng inyong kape. So, makinig lang po kayo. You can you can follow us at Facebook, no, Facebook Live at saka YouTube. No, para po uh, mapanood po ninyo ang ating pong mga uh, webinar series. Okay? So muli, uh, magandang tanghali po sa lahat. Sir Ron, hindi na natin patatagalin. Tawagin na po natin ang ating resource speaker. Okay? Yes. speaker this afternoon. Okay. Okay, so uh, teachers, so webinar applicants, no, applicants, applicant tuloy nag applicante Webinar participants, no, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce our resource speaker this afternoon for capability building on action and applied research formulation. Ladies and gentlemen, the assistant principal from Bataan National High School. Let us welcome Dr. Janice T. Porbes. Let's give her a big hand. Oh, big hand. Okay. Sige, ma'am. So, now, uh, continue the discussion about uh, educational research since uh, teachers in high 
schools, meron din tayong mga applicants na na learn the uh, research. So last Monday, so Doc uh, Mary Ann discussed the actual research. Actually, actual research is also an educational research. And then, so may magkaroon lang tayo ng konting review about the kasi that is an issue of isang beginner or researcher na, uh, na gustong gumawa ng kanyang okay so sir what's the all right so we are in our first slide the type of our uh, Ma'am Bejo, Ma'am Bejo, nawawala-wala yung ano mo, yung mic mo. Sir. Ayan, sir. Ayan. Baka maraming baka nakakonek yung mga kapitbahay mo, Ma'am, sa internet mo. Nakakonek ba? Pero na. Baka po sa boses. Sir, okay na po ba? Yeah, medyo malakas pero nagchachapi chapi Okay, chapi. Ayan. Sir, ayan na. Okay ba? Yeah, sige ma'am. Okay na po yan. Medyo... Okay, so let's continue. Okay, next slide, sir. So in order for them to have a uh, review on the uh, research processes. Okay, so before we start, general objective no? to provide assistance, of course, for the participants to we're going to focus on the discussion on the applied research. And we have this specific objective, sir. Okay, so these are the uh, specific objectives that we, uh, that we need to develop uh, in the uh, participants now. Okay, so you have to capacitate, of course, those uh, components where, uh, in order for it to prep an applied research. And so we have this uh, so you have to develop what is like research questions and there's a research work. Okay. So number four, work line and implementing side research and demonstrate. Sir, nakakaroon ba tayo ng problem sa ano? Yes po ma'am, nagcha-chapi-chapi yung ano natin, yung signal. Okay, sir, palitan ko lang itong aking ano, ano? Sige ma'am. Okay, and sir, okay na ba? Pinalitan ko po yung aking... Okay, so let's continue, ano, uh, participants. Ito po ang ating mga specific objectives. You to have an out. So you have to approach of this uh, objective. Para sa parang lesson plan lang po teachers na uh, we have this, uh, learning competencies and then we unpack no by uh, making a learning objective so, so that is our objective. Okay, next sir. So really I just adapt the PowerPoint presentation ano to uh, Gloria of Reset, this is actually uh, one of my favorite, one of my, sige, my favorite. Ano pa rin ma'am, choppy tayo, Ma sayang. Lapens? Ba't tinanggap na? Kaya akong mag, no? Ano ma'am? Huwag ka naman mag, ano, sige ma'am. Try mo nga po. Ba't tinanggap ko na? Okay po. Sige ma'am. Okay. So we are going to focus on the uh, conceptualization phase kasi dito may hihirap yung mga searchers, no? Uh, uh, gawa ng Sir, sir, okay na, naririnig na ako? Opo, pero ano lang ma'am eh, choppy-choppy? Choppy? O, oh, choppy-choppy siya. Ano kaya ito? Sige ma'am, gawan muna natin ng paraan. So para po sa ating mga viewers no, uh, we are ano, uh, we would like to apologize for the technical ano uh, issues. No, meron pa tayong problem with the internet connection. Pero ma'am, yung boses ko okay naman, dire-diretso. 
okay sir baka po yan. sa signal ano okay so sa inyo pong signal ano po bang internet mo diyan ma'am sir yan medyo mamalinaw sige po oh, let's continue sir. po okay so next slide sir Right, so let's have a review about the uh, research format. Sabi ko nga kanina, issue kasi ang research Pero uh, as a researcher, mas mainam kung uh, you are familiar, no? you are familiar with the uh, parts, the components. No, na lang. Kasi iba ginagamit, chapter 1, chapter 2. Pero in our APA style, so we have this uh, IMRAD. IMRAD talaga ginagamit yan sa abroad. National. Hindi ka lang tayo medyo may problema sa sa PPS kasi ba ang format? Base yun kung saan ka natapos. Depende meron din tayo sa real format. So since depende tayo, so we need to adopt B. Okay, so let us review. Okay, so the first one is the introduction. So keep this in mind. The question, what did you do? What did you do it? Okay. Introduction kasi, that's our play. Uh, kasi sa ibang mga researchers kasi, o yung mga research speaker, introduction, dapat medyo native tayo pag uh, gumawa. Kung iba kasi ang ginagawa, uh, in terms of setting, nag-start uh, sila pag international down. Okay, international, and national, national, sa atin, school level. Okay, so, ganun ang pag-arrange uh, nila ng kanilang mga discussions. Alright. And, of course, the method, how medyo critical in terms of uh, uh, planning our method. Kasi, meron tayong mga consider, like yung hirap yun, and that is another issue. Next, results. Wait, so everything that you have observed, everything that you gathered, all the findings, so you have to write. Discuss them. So next. Okay, the discussion, of course. The discussion, uh, this, uh, answer this question, what does it mean? Okay, so from the findings, or um, presentation, those are my analysis ninyo, discussion, doon kayo mag in inyong mga conclusion or recommendation. Next, sir. Okay, so these are the format, ano? So we have this title page, table of contents, list of tables, abstract, the introduction. Ito yung tinatawag na chapter 1 ng iba, ano? Sa iba. So, ang introduction kasi ah, uh, of the study. Okay? And then yung rationale mo. So, kung nga na medyo lang dating. The concept of work, ito medyo uh, medyo uh, tigus ito because this is part of the review of literature. So, ibibigay sa inyo mga tigus. So, state of the problem o yung mas kinala natin ngayon sa research questions kasi eh, mas madaling sagutin kapag daw siya ay in the form of and then our hypothesis, okay, that walang audio. The hypothesis natin, okay, so actually this is your temporary answer to the question, scientifically. Sir, wala daw po audio? Opo, ma'am, nawawala-wala kayo yung internet mo siguro. Saan ka, saan ka ba ma'am? Anong connection mo ma'am? Nakakable ka ba o naka-wifi? Cable sir. Naka-cable? Kasi choppy. Ulitin kaya natin ma'am para ano, mag-testing muna tayo. Yan. Sir, kahit na naka-ano ako. Opo. Mahina ma'am yung signal mo ma'am. Yes, sir. Disconnect mo muna lahat. 
No, buong barangay nyo ata ma nakakonek sa inyo. <laughs> buong barangay sir. Oo, <laughs> naka naka jumper ata dyo sa inyo. Chapi po kasi sayang ang ganda po ng topic eh. Okay, so and sent naman ako sir sa speaker. Uh, okay. So ano kaya ang problem natin? Chapi chapi. Chapi chapi. Signal. Signal daw sir. Oo nga po. Pero sa akin ma malinaw eh oh. Yung sa inyo ma'am. Yes sir. It ko uling mag baka na kahit na nakaano tayo no. Ready start mo kaya ma'am yung ano mo, yung computer mo. Try natin. Okay. Ready start na dito ano. Wag mo na kaya ako muna. Ready start. Oh. Okay, para po sa ating pong mga uh, participants, no, uh, ibabalik po natin yung ating pong naging, uh, nagiging discussion. So, we are now po sa review sa ating pong mga naging, uh, na-take po natin ng mga discussion mula po nang nag-start po yung ating series, no, sa ating pong uh, speaker na si uh, Dr. Mary Ann Valentino on Capability Building on Action and Applied Research formulation. So that's a discussion po ni uh, Dr. Forbes, no. Dinidiscuss po niya yung objectives po natin wherein uh, sa webinar po na ito, we are going to provide assistance in the formulation of action and and we are going to focus on applied research, no. And with this, no, ang specific objective po natin is to capacitate the participants on the components of crafting and applied research and to demonstrate skills in familiarizing parts of research, develop a working title, research questions, and research framework to prepare work plan in implementing the applied research and demonstrate enthusiasm in the completion of applied research. So sa kanya din pong naging discussion, no, ito pong uh, kanya pong ipapakita sa inyo is already presented to the Regional Conference Workshop on the preparation of research proposals and research final output. Kung saan, no, from this uh, lecture, no, we are going to deal with the research process which is how to conceptualize the pace of uh, research. So, ano po yung naging major sections in this uh, style? Yung pong APA, style research report, na kung saan makikita po yung introduction, yung method, yung results, at yung uh, discussion. Okay? So, para po masundan po natin, so habang nag-aayos po ng connection ng ating pong speaker. So, the outline of the final research output for applied or uh, action research will be the title page, the table of contents, the list of tables, the abstract, and no, the introduction. No, ito po yung munang pagbibigyan natin ng pansin. Na kung saan, with this introduction of the review of related literature, makikita po dito yung conceptual framework, yung statement of the problem, yung hypothesis at significance of the study at limitation. Okay na po, mami, yung inyong pong connection? Sir, oh, sige po. Sige, ma'am. Uh, open po ulit yung StreamYard na link. Ah, okay. Nandito ka na, ma'am. Hindi, ilalabas mo na kita, ma'am. Hello ma'am Janice. Okay na? Yan, pa parang, yan okay, parang okay na. Sir, patay ko lang itong isang lap. Oh, sige ma'am, okay lang po tayo mag-wait. Okay sir. Yan, pero okay na ma'am yung boses mo. Maliit. 
Okay, yan. Ito, okay na. Yan. Yan. Malinaw na, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, so let's continue with our discussion. Again, we would like to apologize for the technical difficulties, no? But still, no? Uh, we want you to, ano, para po mag malinaw po yung ating presentation. So again po, uh, si Dr. Forbes will discuss the, uh, kung saan po tayo natapos. Okay na yan, ma'am. Mas maganda yung connection mo dyan. Okay po. Okay. All right. Okay, let us. Go back to the discussion. I know, medyo magbigay lang uli ako ng ano kasi medyo choppy kanina. Okay, so we are going to discuss an educational resource. No? So we uh, we focus today on the applied research o yung tinatawag natin basic research. Uh, ito kasi medyo matrabaho siya compared to uh, actual research. But still, that is an educational research. Okay, since we have different types of audience ngayon, so, siyempre, kailangan natin mag-adjust doon sa mga sample para sa mga, para sa senior high school students, sa mga teachers, may mga non-teaching staff din tayo na uh, participants today. Okay. So, when we're talking applied uh, research, kasi it is like a scientific method eh, no? Nakakalungkot lang wala na scientific method sa curriculum ngayon sa science. Okay. So, the first thing na dapat natin i-consider, yung question na, are you affected of something? Okay. When you ask that question, affected ako. Ano yung bagay na nakaka-apekto sa'yo? Of course, so we can describe that as a concern, an issue, or a problem. So, syempre, kapag naging problema yon, so we need to look for solution. Okay. So, parang uh, simpleng problema lang sa bahay na kailangan solusyonan. Pero actually, we have two reasons bakit kailangan natin mag-research. No? Number one is to improve that something. Okay? And number two, to develop. To develop through innovation. If that is technology, sige. If that is strategy, sige. Okay? There is no problem about that. Okay? Still, meron tayong mga processes na ginagamit. Kaya lang, sabi ko nga kanina, meron tayong mga issue in terms of the format. So, ang ituturo natin ngayon is a, uh, APA style na international ay talagang ginagamit nila. And here, in here, in our country, that is also accepted. No? Sabi ko nga din kanina, mas mainam kung mag-focus kayo doon sa parts. Kasi iba, ginagamit chapter 1. O ano ang laman ng chapter 1? Chapter 2, anong laman? So, dapat doon kayo mapamilyarize mabuti sa parts ng bawat chapter. Okay. So, sabi ko kanina, no, we have uh, have that uh, summary of the uh, discussion of Doc Mary Ayn about the actual research. Yung ipinakita niya, almost the same. No? Medyo may, proble may problema lang siguro o may konti lang na, na pagkakaiba. Depende kasi yan sa purpose. Kaya merong pagkakaiba talaga in terms of the format. Okay. So, dapat malinaw sa inyo ang introduction. Sa introduction, that is background of the study. Naadyan ang rationale ninyo. And then, sa review of related literature, since that is the research powerhouse na tinatawag, a critical and in-depth evaluation of previous researches na napaka-importante na ilalagay natin doon sa current research natin. Uh, naan doon ang mga theoretical background, yung mga research literature. So, uh, medyo mahirap magsulat ng literature kaya nga sabi ko another issue yan kasi uh, medyo yung iba hindi naman talaga um, skills no kasi writing skills napaka importante mag-call a friend tayo meron tayong mga friend na English teacher dyan so mingi tayo ng tulong pero bigyan ko kayo ng tip no pag nagsusulat ng literature kailangan nyo mag, ano, mag-dendrogrammy. So, what is dendrogrammy? So, yun yung pag nakapaghanap kayo ng mga literature na connected doon sa topic ninyo, at least mga lima with their findings. Study nyo kung saan yung similarity and difference no, ng, ng previous studies na yan doon sa current study. So, yun lang ang napaka-importante doon. Alright, and then Sa conceptual framework, as part of the literature, actually, yan yung tinatawag natin mga researchers synthesis no, of lit on how to explain a phenomenon. No? 
o yung mga variables na napili ninyo. Kasi it serves as a map that will guide you towards realizing the objective or intent of your study. No? Much broader kasi yan eh. Kaya kasi naandyan yung mga previews no? na uh, nice study or literature that will support your uh, research, of course. And then, sumunod dyan, yung significance of the study, ano, kung makikita natin, significance of the uh, study, uh, it determines actually who benefits no, from the study and how that specific audience will benefit from its findings. Yun lang naman eh. Naituro naman na ni Doc uh, Mary Ann yun kung sino-sino mga audience ninyo na magbe-benefit ng study ninyo. Okay? And then, yung hypothesis yan, medyo uh, isa, another issue yan, medyo hirap din ang mga researcher dyan kasi nga, we need to test that. But before we test that, make it sure na we are really uh, uh, sabi natin Sure, no, yung sure kayo doon sa variable or doon sa topic na gusto nyong uh, i-forsue. So, so, that is actually the hypothesis. When we say hypothesis, that is testable prediction about what you expect to happen in your study. And then, sa scope and limitations, when we're talking about scope, yan yung mga variables ninyo eh. No? Yan yung mga uh, factors, yung mga issues, yung mga problems. Yan. And then, meron tayong limitations. Ano ba ang tinatawag na limitations? The parameter. Okay. Uh, aside from limitations, dinidilimit pa natin yan eh. So you control that as a researcher. Ano lang ang gusto mong gamitin na sample? Sinong population mo? Sinong subject mo? Yun yung, ano, yan yung laman dapat ng scope and limitation mo. No? Yung general purpose mo, yung subjects mo, slash topics, the population or the sample, the area uh, or locality, and of course, the time or yung duration. Okay, next, sir. Okay, so dito naman, so I will continue ano, sa methods. Medyo dito hirap din tayo. Why? Kasi another issue na pwede natin ma-encounter uh, is first thing is what type of research we are going to utilize. Okay? And kapag pinag-uusapan na kasi ang method, kaka kakabit niyan ang stat. Okay? Kasi it could be a qualitative or quantitative. Okay? So, sa quali kasi, alam natin ang quali more on writing talaga yan eh. Kasi our main purpose of using qualitative is to develop a theory. Okay? And then yung quantitative naman, uh, medyo kailangan call a friend ulit tayo. No? So, meron tayo mga math na friend, math teacher na friend. So, kailangan natin sila kung magiging quantitative. Kasi when we are talking about the uh, types of research, no? Actually, the, the general classification of research, it could be a descriptive, associational, and intervention. So, dapat alam nyo yan. Okay, pag sinabing descriptive, marami pang ano yan, dapat kayo matutunan dyan. It could be survey, it could be historical, ethnographic, kung qualitative yan, content analysis, papasok pa under qualitative, na andyan si ethno, Nandiyan si narrative, nandiyan si phenomenological, si grounded theory, case study, medyo nagpasadahan na ni Doc uh, Mary Ann yan. And when we're talking about associational, it's about uh, comparison. Papasok dyan yung correlational, causal, comparative, yung tinatawag nating ex post facto. So quantitative na yan. And in terms of intervention, katulad ng diniscuss ni Doc um, Mary Ann, uh, most of the, uh, the common na ginagamit natin dyan is experimental, okay? Or quasi-experimental. And of course, an actual research is also a, uh, a uh, under ng intervention na kailangan natin, no? Kasi meron tayong mga tinetest, okay? E sa instrument, yan, medyo worry din natin ng instruments. Pag sinabing instruments, I know yung tool na pwede mong gamitin just to describe or answer your research question. Sabi nga ni Doc 
Uh, Mary Ann, you can use survey. Yes, survey is a tool. This, that is an instrument. Okay. So, kaya, kaya lang, you have to uh, consider also that type of research you are going to uh, to utilize. If that is quality or quantity, may mga tamang instrument na ginagamit. Okay. More on, sa quality kasi, ang pinaka- ano natin, ginagamit natin dyan, survey. Pero ginagamit din natin siya sa quanti. Ngayon, depende sa purpose. Kung gagamit na nga na tayo ng mga descriptive stat, like yun yung mga frequency, okay, so that is stat. So, kailangan yun, no? Uh, maglalagay tayo doon sa survey natin. It's like a Likert, no? Likert scale. Pwede pareho both, quality or quanti. Pero depende sa purpose. Kasi kung numbers, ang, kasi yung iba pag sinabing numbers, uh, quanti ka agad, no? Baka mamaya gumamit ka lang ng numbers just to count. That is frequency. Parang gusto mo lang malaman kung ilan respondents ang sumagot ng yes or sumagot ng no. That is a quality. Pero kapag yung numbers na yun, binigyan mo ng description at pag mas mataas, or mas mababa, may description yon na kapag mas mataas ang nakuha or nakasumagot nun, o oh, yun. So, doon nagkakaroon ng pagkakaiba. Okay? At sa instruments natin, it could be uh, research-made or standardized. Kung research-made siya, sabi ni Doc uh, Mary Ann, kailangan may reliability or validity. So, ginagamitan natin ang stat siya, yung cronback. And then, kap, kapag, kapag naman gusto nyo na, or nakakita kayo, kasi ma, mas mainam pong standardized na, no? lalo na dito sa Pilipinas, may mga standardized na, we can adapt or adapt. Kasi, uh, pag ginamit mo yon lahat, so wala kang binago, that is adapt. Pero pag binodify mo, kasi base yan sa research questions mo, yan, no? kung ano lang ang kailangan mo, Okay, so kailangan uh, gamitin mo letter A, adapt. Inadapt mo siya kasi we need to uh, acknowledge no, kung sino ang gumawa nun. So dalawang uri lang yan ano, sa instruments. Kapag the, if that is teacher made or researcher made or standardized. Okay, so data collection and procedure, yan yeah, medyo madali na. You just simply... Uh, uh, tell something about your procedures on how you are going to gather the uh, the pertinent or the necessary data. And then, yung ethical consideration dito, of course, ayun nga, yung mga uh, we have to uh, to protect no, the uh, the identity of our respondents. Kaya madalas ang ginagamit natin dyan, mga code so, yun ang dapat gawin natin yung mga, gumamit na lang tayo ng code. Na-discuss na, na naman ni Doc Ma, ano yan, Mary Ann. And sa data analysis, base, ang data analysis ay depende ko anong uri ng research, kung quality or quantity, doon mo i-discuss. Mamaya, bibigyan ko kayo ng sample. Okay, next, sir. Okay, the results in discussion, madali na to. So, meron din akong tip na ibibigay sa inyo mamaya. Ang results in discussion, actually, kung makikita nyo, nasaan po dyan yung findings. Okay, so bago kayo mag-conclude or bago kayo mag-recommend, of course, you have to discuss your uh, uh, the findings, the analysis, and the interpretation. Okay, next, sir. Sir, next slide. Okay, the references, the discuss na yan, APA. So, may sample tayo dyan na format for the references. Napaka-importante. Basta lahat na gagamitin nyo, Lahat ng citation nyo, ilagay nyo sa references. And then, eh, eh, uh, just to uh, have no comparison between applied and actual research, ayan, makikita naman natin sa, sa slide. May pagkakaiba lang dyan sa letter E, plan for dissemination or advocacy sa actual research, action plan. Yung gun chart, uh, kung aware kayo dyan, actually, time frame lang yan, eh, yung plan mo, kung kailan mo, kung kailan ka nag-identify ng topics, down to, to uh, 
to findings hanggang sa ano lahat ng ano na andon may format naman po iyan marami tayong makukuha okay next sir all right so this this are the actually the format no the formats ng ng region 3 nung applied at saka na action research so naka-highlight diyan sa action research ko ano yung mga terms na na kaiba dito sa applied research. Okay? Kung context na ginagamit sa atin introduction. Alright? Ang maganda sa action research, wala siyang part ng literature review. Pero napaka-importante na meron pa rin kayong citation at pwedeng nyong ilagay yung kung action research na mapipili nyo doon sa context. Okay? And rationally. Kasi napaka-rational. Napaka-importante kasi ng uh, literature because that will support our claims. Okay, and then ayan, my research questions dito may proposed innovation. So madali lang, nakikita natin sa ano, sa slides. Ayan. Okay, so we already discussed or have a, the summary of the discussion of Doc uh, Valentino. Okay, so uh, we're going to proceed to the research process. No? So ito applied research na to. Okay, so, you know, uh, bigyan ko lang kayo ng konting ano, ano, uh, tip, ano, for you to become an expert. So, actually, you have to attend uh, a three-session seminar workshops. Tatlo yon, kasi medyo hindi rin ganun kadali talaga gumawa na isang research. So, nahihirapan talaga ang ating mga uh, estudyante sa senior high school, actually, apat ang kanilang ano, research subjects. Eh. Meron silang practical, uh, practical research one, which is qualitative, practical research two, quantitative, and then meron pa silang triple I, okay, triple I, investigation, experimentation, meron yon at saka meron pa silang pananaliksik. So, kung, kung ang isang strand ay, alimbawa, walang available for immersion venue, no, so, may kapalit yung immersion venue, another research, and that is research project, yung tinatawag natin capstone. Kaya ang mga estudyante natin, uh, medyo hirap talaga sila. Kaya as a teacher, as a research teacher, you have to attend three seminars. Ano yung mga topic na yun? Una, uh, you have to attend seminar on, or seminar workshop on, Research process. Ito. Ito yung ginagawa natin ngayon, research process. Pangalawa, ay yung type of research, if that is qualitative or quantitative. Okay? Kasi meron kayong mga ma-encounter na mga terminologies. Kailangan doon kayo mahusay, no? Para madali nyo madiscuss sa paper ninyo yung mga terms na gagamitin nyo. Ano-ano ba yung pwede natin ma-encounter? Meron kayong ma-encounter dyan na random, non-random, non-parametric, parametric, non-probability, or probability. So, yun ang nag identify kung quality or quanti, no? And then, the third one, para maging mahusay pa kayo, so you have to attend of course, uh, a workshop on stat and probability. Kasi we have two types of stat. Eh. Meron tayong descriptive stat, meron tayong inferential stat. So, medyo mahirap yan, lalo na sa mga teachers na hindi uh, mahilig sa numbers. Okay? So, kailangan natin mag-colaprend. Ako, natutunan ko yan sa seminar sa, sa Angeles kasi mahuhusay yung mga uh, speakers natin, no? Mahuhusay talaga ang mga pam, taga-pampanga pagdating dyan. Sila yung nangunguna in terms of the research. Alright. Okay. So, let us proceed to the first uh, session natin. Yung research process na sinasabi ko na dapat yung matutunan. Okay. So, doon tayo. Okay, next, sir. Okay, knowing the research process. Yes, sir. Next. And then, ito medyo kung meron na kayong mga topic in mind, sir. Sige po. Okay, so begin with the topic in mind. So what is that? So when we are talking about, sabi ko nga kanina, may question tayo na, are you affected of something? Ano ba yung something na yan na nakaka-apekto sa iyo? Okay, if you are a teacher, for example, ano, teacher ka, senior high school teachers ka, or LM, or uh, secondary teachers, marami eh. Kasi sabi nga ni Doc uh, Mary Ann, uh, if your topic, no, if your topic is about 
classroom no it's about uh, uh, classroom based sabi na natin yan action research yon lahat ng bagay na pwedeng maka-influensya sa pag-aaral ng bata inside the classroom so dapat action research is a classroom based research all right so iyon yun Okay, next. Sige, to, uh, bibigyan ko kayo ng mga ideas, no? mga tip para mas madali. Para lang tayo magkukwentuhan dito. Okay, so if we just summarize all the research process na tinatawag natin yan, ito, ito yun. Yung kanina diniscuss ko, ito din yun. Kaya lang dapat alam ninyo kung ano yung kanilang mga classification. All right. Number one is conceptualization phase. So you have to know how to conceptualize your idea. Kasi dito magagaling yung topic mo. Okay? So parang ito yung chapter one. Okay. And then design phase number two. Okay? Parang chapter two yan. Design phase. Ito na. Ito na yung nakakatakot na ma, ano po yung gagamitin kong uh, type of research para dito. O sige. Ganito. Ayan. And then, number three, empirical phase. So, ayan na yung mga pag-gather ng data. Mamaya, di-discuss natin. Uh, okay. The analytical phase and the dissemination phase. All right. Next po. Para mas ano. Next, sir. Okay. So, when we're talking about conceptualization phase, ito yan. No? Topic, the review, the hypothesis, the framework, and the objective formulation. Design phase, the research plan. Uh, empirical phase, the data gathering or the collection, the analytical phase, the data analysis, interpretation and conclusion, of course, dissemination phase, communicating, utilizing the findings. The important thing here, you know, participants, is you know the classifications of those parts. Yun lang. Pag nao, nasaan ka na? Nasaan ka ng phase? Nasa design phase na ako. Okay, I need, uh, I need to call a friend. So, ang mga dapat niyong tawagin dyan ay yung mga research and probability teachers, no? Mga math teacher. Okay, next. Okay, let us proceed to topic. Conceptualization phase tayo, ano? It must be relevant, significant, and feasible. O mas, kila, mas alam ninyo yan sa acro na smart. Smart. Yan. Next. Alright. So, ito yung ipinakita din ni Doc Mary Ann na pwede yung maging themes or topic. Topic pa lang po tayo, wala pa po tayo sa research title. Alright, so if you are a teacher, tignan nyo po, alam ko po as a teacher, para bang nagiging part-time na lang natin yung pagtuturo, no? Kasi meron pa tayong mga additional, you know, tests because we are also a coordinators or chairman. So, isipin nyo, swerte po kayo kapag meron kayong additional tests kasi you can use the data. For example, ang hawak nyo eh... Meron kayong mga hawak na uh, special program. Or kaya, uh, hawak mo yung SBM, school-based management. Okay? Pwede yan. Pwede yung maging data mo. Kung meron ka nakikita dyan something na nakaka-apekto sa iyo, dahil ikaw may hawak niya, ano bang problema dyan? Actually, ang nakikita lang naman natin dyan is record management. Eh. Baka meron tayong maisip na makakatulong sa atin. So, true research process, pwede tayo makabuo. Okay? So, curriculum management under the quality, special programs, alternative delivery modes. Actually, yung ADM, ito yung ginagawa. Very thankful ako kay Sir Wax kasi action research nang maituturing itong webinar eh. No? Kasi it is a kind of action, no? Para yung problema natin sa dahil sa crisis meron tayo ngayon, ito nasusolusyonan. So, meron tayo tinatawag na ADM. So, yun yun. Alternative delivery modes. Ano yung mga nagawa natin sa ganitong problema. Okay? So, through actual research, you can you can uh, uh, have the uh, scholastic work, no? Then, sa kung sa ALS ka, yun, pwede rin. Ano bang problema nakikita mo sa ALS o concern? Huwag natin gamitin yung problema. Gamitin natin yung salitang concern. Yun. So, sa IPs, meron tayo si Ma'am Joma. Sa IPs namin, pwede. May data siya kasi siya ang core natin dyan. So, ganun. Okay, marami tayong pwedeng pagkuhanan ng mga topics. Okay? Kapag kayo ay senior high school uh, students, grade 11, grade 12, kung kayo ay nasa STEM, 
okay, you have to focus on the specialization. If you want to be an engineer someday, o ano bang gusto mong intervention? Okay, so bago ka gumawa ng intervention, mag-apply research ka muna kasi you can assess muna kung ano yung gusto mong technology bago ka gumawa na more developed technology. Okay, kung ikaw naman ay isang ABM student, so you can have the uh, study about the uh, accounting skills or marketing skills kasi yan ang mga specialization ninyo eh. O na andyan naman si Ma'am V o si Ma'am Viray to help you. Okay? As a teacher also, pwede din makaisip si Ma'am V ng, ng isang strategy na kung saan eh, pwede mag-enhance or mag-improve pa ng uh, marketing or accounting skills ng mga estudyante. So, ganun. So, marami tayong mapagkukuhanan ng mga topics. Okay, next. Alright, ito yung mga example of topics is about scheduling. Okay, mga gumagawa ng schedule sa school. Sige, baka may mas magandang ano, mag-apply research muna. Okay, assess nyo muna kung ano yung mga problema and then proceed to the action research. Team teaching as a strategy. Evaluation of learning or reporting to parents, students' regulation, learning styles, peer tutoring, and the um, instructional uh, supervision for the leaders or for the principals, for the master teachers. No, meron din siya ng ganyang job description. Sa field trips yan, medyo wala na tayong field trips ngayon. No, school facilities, extracurricular programs, yung ICT, mall, ICT base na tayo ngayon. No. So, marami na tayong mga interventions na nagagawa dyan. Okay, stress management, napaka-importante din. I have this, actually, I had this research, eh, no, about stress. Okay, mamaya, i-share uh, i ko sa inyo yung mga research outputs ko. Okay, English language, teaching approaches, ayan, sex education, administrative leadership. If you are, nasa admin kayo, sige, principal, why not, no? Baka meron pang mas maganda na pwede natin magamit na pamamaraan para yung mga teachers natin ay ating uh, mapasunod sa mga, sa mission at vision ng DepEd. All right, next, sir. Okay, so let us proceed to the detailed discussion of the conceptualization piece, okay? So number one is the topic identification. I know uh, most of you had ideas, no, or topic in mind, sabi ko. Kaya lang, uh, ang problema kasi, ano bang gagawin ko dito sa problema ko? Okay? So, these are the questions that you have to uh, to consider, no? So, what do I know about the topic? Siyempre, alam, ay may topic ka. Ano bang alam ko dito? Okay? Pangalawa, what should I know about the topic? Ano ba ang dapat ko pang malaman? Alright. Letter C, what do previous studies say about my chosen topic. So you have to read. So that would be the literature that you are going to arrange or to use before you arrange it. You know, when you are writing the the uh, the conceptual framework. So yan. Yan yung mga dapat nyo i-consider. Ano tong topic na to? May alam ba ako dito? Ano pa ba ang dapat kong malaman dito? So through reading of different lit, sige, makakatulong yan. Okay, next. All right. So this is an example, ano? Ito yung mga ano ba target areas yan, yung faculty development program. So yun din yon, yung tatlong tanong ko kanina. Okay, so may tanong pa tayo dito. How will do I understand the concept in the chosen area of interest? So you have to reflect then, ano? Kung gaano mo naiintindihan yung topic mo. Baka mamaya yung topic mo eh make it sure na researchable siya. Okay? So pinapaalala ko lang po ano, when we are doing research that is actually for two reasons, to improve something or to develop new technology. Okay po? Okay. So, pag sinabing eh, excellent, very good, good, sige, fair, poor. So, you have to assess yourself, no? Kung ano, kung gaano mo uh, kaalam yung topic of interest. Okay? And you have to check also the review of lit. When we are talking about conceptual literature, 10%. Research literature, 90%. Yung conceptual literature natin, ito na yung mga, yung mga theoretical background, no? Ganun naman normally ginagawa natin, you know? Meron tayong mga guiding principle, 
na kailangan yung mga lolo natin, sila Jan Dewey, si girl, si uh, Louis, yan. Yung mga yun, marami tayong oro Louis na nakilala ko lolo, ano. Alright? And then yung research literature, yan yung mga previews na nakagawa na uh, may similarity doon sa current mo. When we're talking about grade literature, X yan, baka mamaya wala. Wala akong makita. Okay, so dapat mo din i-consider mamaya wala. Alright, next. Okay, when we're talking about literature, that is uh, the research powerhouse. Sabi dito, a literature review is an account of what has been published on a topic by accredited scholars and researchers. So napaka-importante na meron tayong literature, no? Kasi sabi ko nga kanina, it, uh, this will support your claims. Hindi pwede pag sinabi mo, ay, yung ganito, ganyan, ganun, ganun. Dapat meron. O mamaya, may tita ko sa inyo dyan, no? So, pili din kayo ng mga uh, researchers, no? Na pwede, na talagang, uh, kumbaga, accredited, no? At talagang yung credibility nila, eh, maganda. Okay? Kasi maraming... Marami tayong mga researchers. Yung mga publish, yun ang hanapin ninyo. Okay. And another thing, a literature review can be a precursor in the introduction of a research paper. Yes, we can also include the uh, uh, the literature in our introduction. Pero uh, medyo konti lang naman, hindi dapat punong-puno. Dapat natin ilagay yun doon sa part ng review of related literature. Kasi meron tayong pwedeng sabihin doon na kailangan din na suportahan ng literature. Okay, next. All right, so I will show you some examples of electronic resources, yung da kung database, no? Dahil napakahirap nang maghanap ng mga books ngayon, dati kasi napupunta pa kami sa National Library, okay? So just to look for the uh, literature. Ito, ayan, pwede nyo nang magamit siya. Kaya lang, pag ginamit nyo yan, May, meron pa rin tayong pamamaraan, ano? Walimbawa, meron kayong kinuha doon na isang statement at meron siyang citation. Di ba, makikita nyo may 1, 2, 3, di ba? Naka-enclose na ganun. Hanapin nyo yung references niya, then copy. I-copy ninyo, tapos i-paste nyo sa, ano nyo, sa Word, and then i-copy nyo din yung link kung saan nyo siya nakita. Okay? So, ganun ang tamang paggamit. Kung e-resources eh, e ang gagamitin nyo. Di ba, kay scholar uh, that google ako okay meron ako nakita doon ayun yung topic ko kasi eh, uh, related doon sa topic ko ano and then meron akong site na kinuha proceed to the references niya nasa ilalim po iyon then copy mo yon i-paste mo and then kunin mo yung uh, link kung saan siya mo inopen yung study na yun then i-paste mo din po doon so that is the right way okay next Okay, number two, topic intellectualization. So we have three uh, key bases dito, no? Okay, organizing the literature, identifying concept or variables, defining concepts and variables. Okay, next. So may mga samples naman po ako dyan mamaya para mas malinaw. Okay, yung under ng topic intellectualization, so meron tayong tinatag na organizing the literature. So medyo nahihirapan yung iba dyan. So how to uh, organize or arrange the literature. So, meron tayong two ways, no? It could be tabular or textual. Ito yung maghahanap ka pa lang, okay? Tabular and textual. Okay, let's have an example, sir. Next. So, this is an example of tabular literature. Alim, libawa, yung case dito ay licensure examination, yung let sa mga teachers. So, just note of this uh, template, no? Researchers for the first column, second column, the major objectives. The third one is delineated factors, locus, and key findings. Ito, kapag meron ka nabasa, no, nag-click ka doon sa data na yon or doon sa e-electronic resources na yun, ano. Okay, ah, ito yung nakita ko. Ito yung related sa study ko. Ito lang. So, we're going to arrange, no, the, uh, the literature in this way. Okay, tabular. Mas makikita kasi mas madali. At kapag na-arrange mo na ng ganyan yan, kapag nagsulat ka na ng RRL mo, pwede mo i-copy na lang, no? 
Okay, so yung researchers, kailangan ganyan ng tamang format no? para mabilis. Yung major objectives ng study ni, uh, ni Romeo, ayan, examine the predictive ability. Hinighlight ko naman dyan yung, ano, yung mga important uh, factors o variables. No? Yung delineated factors, ito yung topic mo actually. Eh. Kung namang problema ka, for example, sa critical thinking, scholastic attitude, GPA ng bata predictors, yun ang pwede mong uh, factors. Pag sinabi natin delineated, very specific ka. Yun ang target mo. Okay, yung locus, kung saan, yung setting lang naman yan, and the key findings yan, importante yung key findings. Okay, so according to Romeo, uh, one of the predict, uh, predictor, no, predictors ng let, for example, ayun nga, yung GPA, may key findings siya dyan. Okay. So, was found to be the strongest predictor. Okay. And then, kay Bart, yan, meron din tayo dyan. So, same din naman din about predictors of success. So, ganyan ang tamang pag uh, arrange ng ating literature. So, kung saan kayo mas madadalian. Pero ako kasi mas nadadalian ako kapag gumamit ako ng tabular. Okay, next. For another example of tabular, ito yan. So, iyan yung mga, ito yung mga nahanap natin, mga literatures, no? So, that can support your claims, your current study. Okay, naka-highlight dyan yung mga factors kung saan yung pagkakatulad, na dyan din yung hindi nila pagkakatulad. Kasi meron tayong tinatawag na, na mga research gap, or the blind spot, yung mga ganun. Okay, so dapat din natin i-consider yun. Pero since uh, kung iba sa inyo ay nag start pa lang, sige, kung ano muna yung topic in mind, yun na muna. Okay, so next. Alright, if this is the other way around, no? When we are organizing our literature, okay, that is textual. Ayan, so meron tayong researcher. Si Justice and Hardy, 2001. Ano yung kanyang study? Uh, it's about the examine or yes, of the relationship of undergrad GPA. Ayan, in-state niya lahat. Naka-highlights naman dyan kung ano mga important things that you have to know that will support your study. And then to professional development. All right, so that is textual. Okay, so pili lang kayo doon kung anong mas uh, gusto nyo, kung saan kayo mas nadadalian. All right, next. Alright, so step 2B, identify research conceptual tags or yung tinatawag natin variables, cities or variables. Okay, sa variables kasi medyo malawak din yan. Ano? When we're talking about variables, meron tayong independent variables and dependent variables. Meron din under independent variables, meron tayong mga may encounter ng mga moderators at saka exert, uh, extra, ano ba yung isa? Yung bang non-controllable? Pero kasi dito, ano, uh, when we're talking about independent variables, so yun yung alam yung magkukos na yung dependent variable, di ba? So, ganun. Sa science kasi, may, mayroong kaming sariling, ano, dyan, eh, description, but they mean the same din naman. Kaya lang, depende kung paano nyo siya gagamitan. Alright? So, ito yung mga examples of variables or yung tinatawag natin conceptual tags. Okay, scholastic attitude, GPA, intelligence quotient, yun yung from the literature na na-organize ninyo, yun yung mga lumabas. Okay, so kailangan identify nyo yun. Hindi pa tayo, uh, wala pa tayo sa research title natin. Uh, Kung baga namimili pa tayo, naghahanap pa tayo kung ano ba yung mas dapat natin pag-aralan. Okay, so ito yung tinatawag natin mga variables. Okay, another example, sir. Next po. Okay, reading comprehension skills, learning styles, leadership styles, organizational culture, innovation strategies, teacher morale. Ayan, ako meron akong bago ngayon eh, about teacher morale. Kasi medyo uh, napapabayaan yata yung, yung, ano, yung, uh, yung variable na yan. Ano? Okay, so depende kasi yung kung ano yung maging yung respondents mo. Okay, kung ikaw ay isang estudyante, baka mamaya gusto mo yung learning style mo. Kapag ikaw ay teacher, yung teaching style mo. Oh, so, ganun. Depende sa iyo kung ano yung function mo, doon ka mag-focus. Okay? Next. Alright. So, identify yung research conceptual tags. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. No? Na uh, when you are choosing your variables, uh, meron tayong dapat na gawing ganito. Sige, sir. Next. 
Okay, so we have this key question. Which among the identified conceptual tags or variables are considered important and controversial? So meron tayong tinatawag na order of priority. Okay, so conceptual tags. Saan kaya sa tatlo na ito? Okay, tapos meron tayong literature source. Baka mamaya, gray lit, wala tayong makita. So kailangan may conceptual lit, may research lit. Okay, is the conceptual uh, tag still important? Importante pa ba siya? Okay, is it controversial? So those are the questions that you have to uh, to consider, no? In order for you to know or determine the order of priority. Kung ano yung mga priorities mo, maunahin mo. Okay, next, sir? Meron pa tayong additional. So kapag yan ang ginamit nyo, yes or no lang. Okay, so nakikita ko dito critical thinking, especially in science, no? Yung critical thinking medyo mababa. For example, that is my perceived problem or identified problem as a teacher, as a science teacher. Medyo mababa ang critical thinking kasi based on the... In based on the indicators, like the, yung mga scores nila sa exam, yun, may mga question ako na critical thinking, ang um, sinusukat, mababa ang bata, okay? So, pwede kong uh, i-check yan, important, controversial. Baka mamaya dito sa apat na to, ano kaya yung order of priority? Mas maraming check, mas dapat natin i-prioritize. And next, sir, another tip. So, research problem indicators na nakalagay ito, when there is an absence of informal resulting in a gap in on our knowledge, when there are contradictory results, when a fact exists and you intend to make you study, explain it. O, yun yung mga dapat mong uh, uh, i-consider pa rin, no? Pag nagpa-prioritize tayo ng ating mga variables. Okay? Next, sir. Okay. So, for letter C, Defining our research uh, conceptual tags. So we have two ways. Again, no? Yung lexical definition, yung operational definition. It is a part of educational research. So we have to define, no? Our variables. And ibawa na prioritize ko scholastic aptitude, the GPA, or the critical thinking, or the IQ. So I need to define them. Okay? So meron tayong lexical according to authoritative sources or operational, how the term is or will be used in the paper. So, pipili po kayo dyan, depende sa inyo. Okay? So, we have an example, sir. Next. Okay. So, scholastic aptitude, this is the definition. Kung mapapansin nyo, it refers to the score obtained. Yung GPA refers to the total amount of grade, critical thinking, the ability to think. Then, may cited dyan si Lau and Chan. Okay. You need to cite. Okay? Yan. So, dyan ang example, yung isa, yung scholastic at saka GPA, pareho. So, ano ba yan? Is it lexical or operational? Okay? Kung hiniram nyo lang at merong talagang ginamit yun sa literature niya or sa, I know, no, sa research niya, ngayon, you have to cite, okay, that is lexical. And yung IQ refers to the total score derived from Raven's progressive matrices test to assess intelligence. Okay. So you have to include the definition. So kung makakakita kayo, limbawa may binaba ang DepEd at walang definition of terms, like yung binaba sa amin, walang definition of terms, you can write the definition as uh, doon sa conceptual framework mo kasi kailan mo i-discuss lahat ng variables mo doon eh. So you can do, do this, no? In your conceptual framework or yung part ng literature. Kung wala talaga na part ng definition of terms sa format mo. Okay? Next. All right. Ito, napaka-importante din ito, no? Step 3. So, we have variables na, na-prioritize na natin ang variables natin. So, this is the question kasi, what do you want to argue about? No? So, we need to develop a research arguments. Why? Kasi it identifies the research framework. Ano ba ang research framework that is related to, the, to your hypothesis and to your research paradigm? Kaya dito pa lang dapat mm, medyo ano na tayo, maingat. Okay. So what do you want to argue about? So as a beginner, so you can uh, use this. Sir, sige, we have four. Yung ready na tinatawag. O, pwede munang red muna, no? Okay, R stands for relationship, E effect, D difference, and I 
impact. So, yan yung mga argumentation natin from those variables. Kung ang ginamit mo ay, alibawa, scholastic or GPA, anong relationship nun, anong effect nun? Sige, sir, isa pa. Is, ay, yung difference nun, ay, anong impact nun? Yan. So, pwede kayong mag-start dito muna, no? Kung baga, ano, detailed muna to for the, ano muna, beginners, no? Actually, I considered different ano eh, research, resource speakers and researchers na para lang mabuo itong presentation ko na to. Kasi uh, ito na yung sekreto kung paano gumawa talaga. Baka mawala na ako ng part-time kasi kayo na ang magiging part-timer ngayon. Kapag nakabuo na kayo, no? considering all these uh, ideas or informations from those talagang researchers na magagaling. Okay, next. Okay, ito ano? Ito na yung hypothesis natin, yung tinatawag nating propositional development. Okay, so we have the variables, we have the arguments. Now, how are, go how are we going to make our research framework? Okay, sa so research framework, papasok doon si conceptual framework by a true research paradigm. Okay. So, ma'am, paano po tayo makakabuo nun? So, of course, start tayo kay hypothesis. Okay. So, ito may, may stat na to. Ano? Stat na to. Okay. Meron na tong halong stat. Okay. Kapag ikaw yung stat and probability teacher, tinuturo mo to eh. Yung mga symbols na to eh. No? So, we have this two types of hypothesis. The null hypothesis. Ito yung nasa baba. H-O. H sub O, H sub 1, okay, and the H sub, the alternative. O, alam nyo na, alam kong alam nyo na yan. Kaya lang ito yung tip dito. Okay, so you have to identify if your hypothesis is directional or non-directional. Why? Kasi dito magagaling yung research framework mo. Okay, sir, paki, ano mo, click. Okay, sige pa po, labas natin, yan. Okay, sir, balik mo. Pakibalik. Ayan. Alright. Nakikita niyo yung mga guhit na yan. Napaka-importante ng guhit na yan. Okay. So, start tayo sa alternative. no? Itong directional hypothesis. So, meron tayong tinatawag pa na sa stat na one-tailed at saka two-tailed. So, sa directional, isa nakikita nating tail, right? Yung buntot. One-tailed. Kasi meron siyang arrow. Okay, directional hypothesis yan. Mamaya may sample tayo dyan. And for null hypothesis, no, kasi yung H sub 1, pwede din yung matawag na, no, no? ito two-tail or non-directional hypothesis. Medyo nakakalito to sa iba. Pero tingnan nyo yung symbol. Okay, so I will give you an example. So, sir, next. Okay, for example, our variables, no? Eh, ito yung independent variables natin, job satisfaction, at saka yung dependent is the work productivity. So, nakikita natin na may influence si job satisfaction kay work productivity. So, ano kaya ang pwede nating hypothesis dito? Ano? Sir, click. Okay, so what do you want to argue about? So, ano munang argumentation? Is it relationship, effect, difference, or impact? Okay, so can we hypothesize considering this uh, direction, no? Yung hypothesis natin. Yung mga guhit na yan. Alright, sir, next. Okay, sige, pindot, sir. Can we hypothesize now? Yes. Okay, so we can have these four uh, choices, no? But depende yan sa iyo. Okay, so nakakulay na yan para madali nyong maunawaan. So kapag red, Okay, 8 sub 1 or 8 sub O, that is non-directional. Kapag nakalagay ninyo, eh, there is a significant relationship between job satisfaction and work productivity or there is no significant relationship between job satisfaction and work productivity, ang ilalagay nyo lang para sa research framework nyo, yung is two-tailed, Okay. Two-tailed or non-directional. Yung naka-red. Okay. Kapag naman nakita nyo na meron siyang relationship, meron siyang effect, okay? Meron siyang difference. So, you can have this alternative. No? So, it's sub 1. Kung positive siya, 
High level of just, uh, job satisfaction leads to a high level of work productivity. Or yung kung negative, low level of job satisfaction leads to a low level of work productivity. Parang science lang. Magkakaroon tayo ng direct relationship. Okay? So, ganun. So, very important uh, participants, teachers and students na alam natin ang mga symbols na to. Okay? So, next po. Another example. Sige, ito yung mga typical na ginagamit natin. Sige, sir. Yan, medyo complicated na siya, no? Pero mas maina mag-start muna tayo doon sa simple muna bago tayo makabuo ng ganyan. Yan, yan yung mga example ng conceptual framework. Okay, next. Marami yan eh. Next. Yan, yan, medyo complicated na yan. Importante lang naman dyan yung, yung kung directional or non-directional eh. Okay? So, ko, depende din yan sa dami ng variables ninyo. Okay? Kaya dadami ang guhit kung may tail or wala. Okay, next sir. Mga samples na lang po yan, yung mga complicated. Yeah, parang web lang yan. Next sir. Sige pa po. Okay po, yan. Sample lang po yan. Sige sir. Yan. Sige pa. Okay, another. Alright, so those are examples. O yan. So dito tayo pumunta. So let me give you a simple activity, ano? Okay, so how are we going to develop no research model a conceptual framework? Kaya so yung kanina. Okay, ito din 'yon, no. Paano man pag marami anong gagawin natin? Marami akong gustong mga variables na gustong pag-aralan. Okay, so wala namang problema. Kaya lang yung mga variables na 'yan, no. Ah, uh, hindi lang simple na yun na siya. Kasi may kumbaga sa taxonomy, meron pa siyang mga description. Kung may class, may subclass, okay? So, kung gagamitin natin yung variable na to, marami pang sumasakop o marami pang pwedeng mag-describe sa kanya. So, B is specific. So, when we are doing a research, actually this is a specific study. Okay? For a specific topic. Okay? So, sige. Next, sir. So, mag-start tayo sa conceptual binning, no? Ano mga variables natin? Sige, sir. Sige pa po. Alright. Yung mahiwagang mga guhit na yan. Okay. That is my dependent. Alright. Student academic performance. Ano kaya yung mga variables that could influence the student academic performance? So, we have study habits, reading comprehension, effectiveness of teaching, academic preparedness, good Classroom management and positive attitudes. Okay. Anong gusto ko yung guhit dito? For the, my hypothesis, is directional or non-directional? Sige, sir, pindot. Okay. So, pwedeng, yan, directional, ano? Uh, I just saw that the study habits uh, can, can influence the student academic performance. Sige, sir. Yan. So, directional ang gusto ninyo. Pero kasi sa mga researches natin, ano, sa mga thesis at saka sa mga dissertation, normally ang basis kasi ng hypothesis natin is null. Okay? Kasi ang description natin diyan is to accept or to reject. Okay? So wala ang masyadong malakas ang loob na gamitin ang directional. Okay? Madalas kasi nababasa natin non-directional. All right. So pili lang tayo dito. Next sir. So, ganyan na kung paano, no? Alright. So, ano yung dalawang napili natin? Alimbawa, uh, study habits and the reading comprehension. Sige, sir. Ayan. So, ayan lang ang napili natin out of those, or among those, ano, no? Among those variables. Ito lang yung na-prioritize ko. Ito yung na-check ko na marami, you know, important and controversial for me. The study habits in the reading comprehension. Okay? All right, next sir. So may napili na po ako, may na-prioritize na ako. Ano po yung gagawin ko next? All right, so this would be my um my hypothesis now, no? Okay, pwede na kayong ano diyan kung directional ang ginamit ninyo. So makikita niyo diyan, ayan yung mga examples that student study habits are positively associated. So ang ag ang aking argumentation is relationship Okay, nakikita ko na may relation ang study habits at reading comprehension sa academic performance ng bata. Okay? Sige sir, click mo pa. Para makita nila yung 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 ano, yung research framework 
Okay. So, ayan yung mga yun, ano? Alright. So, dahil directional yun, there is. Okay? There is. Nakita ninyo? There is a significant relationship between, alright, reading comprehension. So, dalawa ito, mayroong directional at may non-directional. Since directional ang ginamit natin kanina sa study habits at saka sa reading comprehension, we can use or we can consider the uh, the 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 first hypothesis no yung student study habits are positively associated with academic performance so bahala kayo kung anong gusto niyo dito these are only an examples that can help you no uh, conceptualize the uh, the idea in terms of making a hypothesis sige sir may mga guhit yan okay yan kapag there is all right non directional two tail so, kapag meron siyang uh, arrow or one-tailed lang siya, ayan. Another, no, another, another important uh, reminder, tung mga guhit na to, kailangan alam nyo yan kung one-tailed or two-tailed. Why? Kasi sa stat, importante yan kapag nag interpret na tayo. Okay? Sige po, Next. All right. So the role of research si simulacrum or yung presentation, no? Ito yung research, no? Focus tayo sa research framework. Medyo mahirapan yung iba dito pero eh, may common naman na tayong ginagamit ngayon. So we have this writing research title na, no? From those conceptualization. Okay, so this is the this the first question. Does the title describe what the study is all about? Does the title contain high specificity level? Is the title academically praised and is not verbose? Is the title with the 12 sub substantive word requirement of the American Psychological Association or yung APA? So, yung kanina example natin, ano, just keep these questions in your mind kasi yan din ang mga tips or pointers no, just to help this research title. So, from those conceptualizations, from the topic, from the variables, the priority of the variables, from the hypothesis and the research uh, framework development, what would be my research title? Okay, simplihan muna natin, ano, baka mamaya may mga gumagawa na ng iba. Kasi we can hide naman yung argumentation pag sanay ka nang gumawa. For the beginners, especially the senior high school students, ito ang pinakamaganda nyo munang gawin. Okay, sir, next. So, this will be our research title, no? From the conceptualization. Okay, relationship of the reading comprehension and study habits to the student academic performance or reading comprehension and study habits in relation to the student's academic performance. O oh, yan, may title na kayo. Mm. So, this is how to uh, to make a research title. Actually, ang tawag natin dyan is working title. Pwede pa mabago yan. Minsan, tapos na nga yung chapter 5 mo. Nakikita mo na parang, parang dapat ko yatang improve pa yung title ko. Pero at least, this is a good start. Okay? So, kung mapapansin natin from this title, naandun yung argumentation which is the relationship. Na andyan din yung dalawang variables. Actually, tatlong variables. Yung reading comprehension and the study habits. Okay? Yun yung mga independent variables natin. And of course, the, the dependent variables, the student academic performance. Okay? Malinaw yun. So, may kulang pa din dyan. Pwede mag, ano ang pwede natin idagdag dyan? Pwede natin idagdag dyan kung sino ang respondents mo at kung saan. Okay? All right, next. All right, these are sample titles of research no from region 3. Okay, so tingnan nga natin how can we assess this if this is an action or applied research. All right, providing access to students with disabilities in online distance education. So from the word itself providing. Ito hindi mo makikita yung mga argumentation mo dito, di ba? Kasi mga dati na siguro silang gumagawa. But we can uh, assess if uh, the type of research na ginamit nila Providing, ibig sabihin na po provide. So, meron siyang action na ibibigay. And that is online distance education. That would be the uh, the action, no? Or action research yan. 
yung determining faculty effectiveness, assessing teaching research and services for personal decision improvement, so anong klaseng research yan? Determining faculty effectiveness. So uh, maybe it is a form or not maybe, nakikita natin dito na merong assessment na ginagawa. Okay? So pwedeng gumamit siya ng qualitative or quantitative or mix. Pwede yun. Okay. Next, digital story to, uh, storytelling. So from the word itself, enhance, enhancing. So improve, no? Kailang may improve. So anong ginamit niyang action? So that is digital storytelling. That is an action na nakikita niyang solusyon para ma-enhance ang student academic achievement, yung critical thinking and learning motivation ng bata. Okay? So, pag ano na, kayang-kaya nyo na rin yan. Okay, next. Next, sir. So, I will show, uh, I will share with you my research output. No, Nag-start ako magsulat kasi year 2013 eh. Pero matagal ko nang ginagawa ito. Na, oh, so, buti na lang na-approve ng division level na approve ng region naman po may mga may mga na po ako mga research fund so nakakatuwa po maka receive ng research fund kasi mas lalo pong nakaka-motivate sa atin na gumawa tayo ng mga researches no uh, pag try nyo lang po makaka-receive din kayo ngayon meron po akong marireceive eh lang medyo mababa nagamit po yata sa NCOB <laughs> joke lang all right so these are my Research output, number one, yung effectivity of the schematic illustration. Actually, that is an action research to develop the metacognitive skill of students in solving chemistry problems. Okay, increasing the performance of students through the utilization of Simdama game and learning the periodic table of elements, 2015. Strengthening the inquiry-based learning to develop the students' inquiry skills through problem-based activities. So, yung tatlo po na yan, puro action research po iyan. Okay. So, medyo sinipag lang po. And then, ito pa po yung aking research outputs. Ito puro applied research na po ito. More on assessment of the program, more assessment of the uh, uh, the curriculum, medyo may mga ganon, in order for me to to improve the program or maka, makatulong, no? Yung teacher stress health related, work immersion, beliefs, scope, yan po yung mga samples. So, pwede po yan. Makakagawa na po kayo yun after this discussion. Okay, next po. Okay, let us continue the discussion. Oh, we're still in research process number one, conceptualization phase pa lang po tayo. So, formulating the research objective. Since meron na po tayong research title, ano naman po itong research objectives na tinatawag? So, ang research objectives nyo, ito din yung itong SOP ninyo eh. Alam nyo na yan. Kaya lang sabi ko nga, mas madaling sagutan kapag siya ay ginawang research question. So, ito lang yung mga dapat ninyong i-consider din. Ano? Yan, yung description. It involves observation. Ano ba yung mga perceived uh, problems na or observations na nakita, uh, na, na encounter ninyo, yung experiences ninyo. Okay, how prevalent is the phenomenon? What are the characteristics of the phenomenon or the issue? What is the process by which the phenomenon is experienced? Okay, so, or just simply describe the perceived problem or the topic of interest no, na you want to pursue. Okay, based on your experience, no? based on your observation. So, yun, yun muna ang dapat i-consider. Next. Okay, next. Sorry. So, explanation. So, of course, uh, you have to explain din describe mo siya, di ba? So, you have to explain. So, uh, it attempts to offer understanding of the underlying causes of phenomena. What caused that problem? What caused that issue or concerns of yours? Okay? Is concerned with the following question. What is the underlying cause? What the occurrence of the phenomenon mean? Why does a phenomenon exist? Why are two phenomena related? Or if the variables are more than... If the variable is more than one, sige... Okay, so yung independent variables natin, yun yung dumadami. Yung independent variables, nag-iisa lang naman din yan, no? Yun yung, yun yung variable that is being affected by the independent variables. Okay, next next consideration, prediction and control. is concerned with the following question. If phenomenon X occurs, will phenomenon Y follow? So we also consider, so what will happen, you know? Ano yung pwedeng, ano, meron tayong matinataw na scientific na prediction or dapat uh, na 
na puporsi na natin, baka mamaya hindi pala pwede. Okay? So, kung hindi pwede at gusto nyo pa rin i-force so we have to control. Parang experiment lang yan sa laboratory. Meron tayong uh, controlled variables, no? Na uh, na ginagawa. Alright? So, ito yung Meron pa mga question yan, mga questions na dapat ninyong uh, isipin no? or i-consider. Okay, next. Alright, eh, bigyan ko kayo na example. Alright, so uh, balik tayo doon sa binning na tinatawag natin. Kasi from this binning, okay, isa pa sir, isang click pa. Okay, so gagawa tayo ng research framework. Alright, and then after the research framework, gagawa tayo ng research questions. Okay. So, this is my, ex uh, actually, ito yung pinaresent ko ab uh, abroad, no? Uh, I just shared the results of my, actually, tatlo kami dito. Meron po akong writer at meron po akong ayang tawag daw yung taga taga <laughs> liaison. Yan. Kasi kailangan natin may kaya. Kasi ang research naman po, pwede naman po kayong tatlo. Okay? Kung hindi niya po po kaya mag-isa, pwede kayong tatlo. Pinakamaganda dyan, umuha ka ng ka-partner na math teacher at saka English teacher. O, oh, di ba? Makakabuo na po kayo. In two weeks, upuan nyo yan, tapos ang proposal ninyo. Okay? Uh, Alright. So, this is my example, no? Yung variable ko is work immersion experience. Okay. Then, yung career path orientation. Kung makikita nyo, two-tailed ang ginamit ko. That is non-directional. So, what would be my hypothesis? So, my hypothesis, ayan, naka-highlight, does not orient, has no significant implication. So, malinaw na malinaw, null hypothesis is no. Kasi non-directional. Alright? And then, my research title is Work Immersion Experience of the Senior High School Students at the Division of City of Balanga Implications to Their Career Path Orientation. That is an example of qualitative research, no? Sa qualitative research, kung mapapansin nyo, medyo i-ano lang natin, no? I-share ko lang sa inyo. Ito sa qualitative type of research. Nandiyan ang variable sa research title. Yung work immersion experience, ano pa? Yung career path orientation. Kasi pag nagsusulat daw tayo ng research title, dapat naandun si variables, naandun si topic, at naandun ang respondent. So, kompleto po yan. Ang respondent po natin, yung main respondent natin, ay may, yung major respondent natin is the senior high school student. Saan? Sa division of city of Balanga. Ano ang topic ko? Implication. Implication ng work immersion sa career path nila. Okay? So, dapat ganyan po kalinaw ang inyong research title. Okay, next. Ayan, yung research question. So, syempre, mag-start tayo sa general question. Ano? Yung aking original Uh, general question ito. Sabi dyan, the main purpose of the study is to determine the implications of the work immersion experience to senior high school students' career path orientation. So, yun po yung nakalagay doon sa original paper ko. Pero, I just want uh, to show the uh, the complete, no? Yun na doon, kasi sa mga, sa mga output kasi, katulad nito, dahil proposal pa lang. Gusto namin makita na doon yung types of research eh. Kaya kapag nagpasa kayo, dapat yung pangalawa. Ito yon Kompleto kasi. This is a descriptive, qualitative, narrative type of research aimed to determine the implications of the work immersion experience to senior high school students career path orientation for the school year 2017 to 2018 to improve the policy guidelines of the work immersion program. So, ganyan po sa qualitative, no? Ganyan ang i-ano natin. Pero accepted naman po yung first statement ko. Pero dito kasi sa second statement, mas malinaw. So, naando na po yung type of research. Descriptive po siya. Sabi ko kanina, tatuloy yan eh. Descriptive associational intervention. So, descriptive siya. Under na descriptive, may mga uri yan. Sabi ko nga, taxonomy, may har har uh, nabubulol ako doon sa taxonomy na lang gamitin natin. So, naandiyan si survey, historical content, qualitative, kaya qualitative siya. Under ng qualitative, may ethno, narrative, phenomenological, grounded theory, case study. So, ang ginamit ko narrative, kasi it's like a storytelling eh. 
I just want to uh, know the experience of those students, no? For me to have an idea about their undertakings while they are in work immersion venue. Ganun. So, pag nakakita po ako ng uh, kung positive ang implication, maganda. Pero kung negative ang implication, may mga disadvantages pala ito dahil first time po nagkaroon ng work immersion sa Pilipinas sa ating curriculum. So, ang akin pong main goal, nilagay ko na rin. Ano po yun? To improve the policy guidelines of the work immersion program. Baka po doon sa mga guidelines na yun, medyo may kailangan improve doon po tayo magpo-focus. Okay po? Okay, next, sir. Alright. Ito, ito medyo issue din po sa mga gumagawa. Ano? Bakit meron pa mga specific questions? Kasi ito yung magdi-describe doon sa ating main or sa general objectives. Parang ganito lang yan. Sige, para mas uh, maunawaan natin. Halimbawa, si teacher, gagawa ng lesson plan. Yung general objective mo, yun yung learning competency mo. So, kung mapapansin natin, ang learning competencies natin, very broad. Okay? Kasi mga naka-psychomotor na yan at saka affective. Pag sinabing psychomotor affective, aba, pinapa-apply na, hindi mo pa nga naituturo yung knowledge. Okay? So, parang ganun lang. Kung yung general objective mo ay yung learning competency mo, uh, learning competency mo, Ngayon, yung research question mo na specific, parang ito yung specific objectives ng lesson plan mo. So, ganun lang siyang kasimple. Okay, dito may lalabas pang uh, mga sub-factors o mga sub-variables. No? Kanina, ang main variables lang natin ay yung work immersion experience. Okay, doon, yun yung independent natin. Pero dito, ginamit ko yung profile ng senior high school in terms of age sex track yung profile ng work immersion teacher kasi nakikita ko na kailangan ko to sa study ko no maybe the the uh, the track no of the students uh, it can influence the uh, the work immersion no Im uh, experience of the student no ganyan yun kung sino yung mga tao sino yung mga taong malapit doon sa senior high school na nakaka-influence isinama natin yung work immersion teacher Yan yung mga, yung age, sex, field, specialization, number, preferable trainings attended. So, yung mga profile, demographic profile, ika nga, o yung, yung background nila. Okay, next. So, aside from work immersion teacher, I also consider the, the work immersion or the profile of the work immersion partner institution supervisor. Siyempre, pag nilagak natin ng mga bata sa, sa work immersion venue, alimbawa, sa DTI, may supervisor doon. So, kailangan ko din siyang uh, makuha na ng information kasi syempre uh, definitely this supervisor can, uh, can influence the uh, uh, the experience of the senior high school students okay so yun yung mga sub variables ko ginamit ko yung demographic profile nila i just want to describe lang kasi magagamit ko yan sa discussion ng findings okay and then for number four questions students perception so, meron tayong survey, no? that is the tool, in order to answer number four questions. It's about the work immersion experience ng bata. And then number five, meron din, silang, meron din ako binigay na, na survey sa nila, yung teacher and supervise, uh, supervisor as mentor of these students. No? Kinuha ko din yung perceptions nila. Pareho lang din naman ng laman ng ano yun eh, kasi perceptions lang naman yung gusto mong i-describe, no? And then, number six, your main question or the topics, what are the implications no, of the uh, results of this study? Eh, okay, so, kung positive or negative, so, magagaling yung sagot ng number six doon sa survey or other instrument, no? Kasi aside from the uh, uh, survey no, about perceptions ng teachers at ng bata at ng supervisors, meron din na tayong gagamitin dyan kasi ang main talaga dyan ay yung interview. Okay, mamaya makikita nyo yung ginamit ko. And of course, number seven, yung iba kasi hindi na nailalagay ito pero mas mainap kung ilagay nyo kasi ito naman yung pinaka uh, main goal natin, no? To give recommendations to further improve the work immersion program para lang malinaw. Okay? O ba parang lesson plan lang to Okay? So, yung SOP ninyo, 
o yung research question nyo, yun yung objectives ng lesson plan ninyo, yung unpack na naka-specific learning objectives. So kapag ginamitan nyo na ng tool ito, yung mga strategies ninyo, kung paano nyo ituturo yung mga lesson objectives nyo na yun, no, just to describe the topic, yun ay kinukonsider natin na instrument naman sa research. Okay? At para maisukat yung kung quantitative yan, so meron tayo mga statistical tool na gagamitin. Okay? Pero ito, ang ginamit natin dito is more uh, descriptive siya dahil qualitative siya, gumamit tayo ng in vivo. So, meron tayong mga coding system na ginagamit. Kung sa, kung sa, sa, sa stat ang ginagamit ay no, yung SPSS, sa qualitative naman ang gagamitin ay yung in vivo. O sa college, meron yung ginagamit eh, na software, mga software. Okay, marami kayong makukuha na ng, o magagamit no, para matulungan kayo sa research ninyo. Okay, next. Alright, ito yung research framework natin. Ang tawag natin diyan research paradigm. Okay? So kung mapapansin nyo, ang ginamit ko, very common, IPO. That is qualitative. That is my choice. Kasi in this model, mas na explain ko siya. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo dito sa input, Okay, nandito na yung profiles ni si, ng bata, yung profiles ng teacher, yung profiles ng supervisor doon sa area. Okay, so iyon yung mga kinonsider kong mga sub-variables o yung tinatawag nating isolating variables no, na kailangan natin para uh, makatulong dito sa research natin. Yung iba kasi hindi na nilalagay yan. No? Pero kung nakikita nyo may influence yung demographic profile o yung background ng respondents ninyo, Why not? Gamitin ninyo. Alright. And sa process, ito yung mga instrument na tinatawag natin, no? Meron tayong questionnaires. Yun yung mga survey questionnaires. Pwede yung standardized. Ako, ang ginamit ko standardized. Pero adapted kasi I just modify some of the items there, no? Kaya modified siya. At adapted. Okay. Then, meron din tayong focal group discussion. I just select some students per strand no and ask them have a simple discussion about their experiences and then the interviews iba kasi ang focal group discussion sa interviews ano ang focal group discussion meron kang ano uh, sinasama diyang mga ano eh pwedeng isama mo yung tatlong ano mo respondents mo diyan okay may mga question ka but Most of, ano, yung normally, same question din naman sa interviews yan. Actually, ang interview is a way of confirming the answer of the respondents, no? Doon sa uh, survey na ginamit mo. Okay. And then, documentary analysis, since that is also another uh, descriptive type of research. All right. And I'll put, of course, your main title, the topic, implication for conversion. O oh, ayan, ganyan ang paggagawa ng medyo mas uh, complicated uh, compared to the uh, previous na eh, pinakita ko sa inyo na dalawa lang, tatlo, kasi doon talaga mag start muna. So kung kaya nyo na, pwede naman kayong mag-adapt, you can uh, do the same. No? Okay, next. Alright, so ito yung applied research na galing sa, ano, ano, sa Region 3. Yan. Halos na andyan yung, yung ating discussion. So, yan ang dapat nyong gamitin, no? Yun din naman, imrad din naman yan kung mapapansin ninyo. Pero ito yung uh, binigay ng ating uh, DepEd. Alright? Next. So, I, uh, I will give you another ano na lang mga tips, no? On how to write the introduction. These are the pointers. So, just follow na lang itong ano to, approach na to, approach. So, when you are writing the introductions, you have to highlight the trends. Ano yung trends? Oh, yung issue, controversial. ba? Diba? Sabi ko nga, variable should be, your topic should be controversial. Okay? So, next, uh, I. So, pinpoint the issues underlying the trends. Okay. Next, state the overall objectives or the intent of your paper in the light of the gap identified. Okay, next. Discuss the possible contribution of the research. So, iyan lang. Yan muna ang apat na yan. Sige. Makakabuo na kayo ng introduction. Uh, you have to highlight the trends. 
You have to pinpoint the issues underlying the trends, state your overall objective or the intent, and of course, support your uh, issue ng, ano, ng contribution. Okay, so yun yung mga literature, cross-reference natin, ano? mga literature po yun. Okay, another tip, ano pa? Okay, next, sir. All right. So when we are writing our theoretical background under the review of related lit, kahit yan pa ay relevant theory, related lit, or mer kasi kami noon sa DLSU, meron kaming synthesis. So actually, ang synthesis, that is also a conceptual framework, no? So ito lang yung mga dapat ninyong, ano, uh, i-consider o parang pattern. Number one, rule one. Ay, sec lang siya, no? State the theory. Okay. So, paano ba i-state yung theory? Siyempre, at, uh, nung sinerge mo siya, state mo siya. Alright. Example, the theoretical basis of this paper is blah, blah, blah. Ano yung mga guide? Ito yung mga ano natin, guiding principles natin. Si mga, yung susuporta doon sa variables natin, ano? Kung yan ay, meron tayong mga theories of learning, kung about learning ang gusto mong focus ng study mo, so, naandyan sila Gardner, naandyan sila Ber, uh, Lewis, naandyan sila sa constructivist. Marami yan eh, doon sa mga condition, non-conditioned, ano, sa modification. Mga psychological yan eh, or educational psychology, doon makikita ninyo yung mga theoretical. Okay, yung mga theories or mga principles na makakasupport, doon muna. Okay, next. So, after stating your, the theory, you have to explain the theory. Okay, so gamitin mo yung sa sarili mong ano. So, how did you understand the theory? Alright, so explain mo pa. Baka meron ka pang maidadagdag dyan. Ganun ang paggagawa. Ano? Kahit maski yung mga uh, research literature din, yung, yung nakuha natin kaninang example, no? yung pag-organize, ganun. That is a good example na. And then, number three is contextualize the theory. When we're talking about contextualization, of course, that is a simple explaining, no? Or contextualize the the current the current research do on that theory. Ganon lang. So after mo siyang state, explain mo siya. Then contextualize mo siya. Ibig sabihin, what is the connection? of your current study to that theory. That is how we contextualize. Okay? So, you have to connect. So, yan lang. Tip yan. Ha? Maganda na yan. Makakabuo na tayo. Okay, so I will show you an example of the part uh, sa method, yung type of study. Ito sa action research, ito. Okay, so that is a simple template when we are writing our methods, no? Start tayo ng type of study. Alam ba? This study will employ a true experimental design. O, oh, yun. Ako, yun. may stat ito, no? Specifically, a two-group pre-test, post-test study design. Ayan, nakasulat. Then, yung participants mo, ayan na yung template, the participants in this study will be, so, indicate the number, indicate the grade or the year level of the students or the pupil in some school. Indicate name of school, indicate the number of which were Randomly assigned, o. Oh, meron tayong randomly assigned. So, meron tayong, ano dyan, mga sampling technique yan, no? To the experimental group, indicate the number to the control group. Okay, it's experimental yan, eh. So, tinitignan niya kung how effective the intervention is or the innovation is, no? Okay, so, the experimental group will be, describe the intervention to be used, how will the intervention be done, for how long, etc., etc. Okay, well, the control group will be taught using the traditional method of teaching. Okay, next, sir. Yan yung pag, uh, ano, pag susulat. No? Sa data collection, ayan, ayan. Initially, a pretest will be done to determine the baseline level of the study participants. Nandiyan yung dependent variable mo, no? The pretest scores of the participants. This is your... Uh, this is how you are going to collect data. Naka, naka, ano dito, naka state. Then the intervention will then be applied to the experimental. Yan yung balak mong gawin. Isusulat mo lang. Mas mainam nga, sarili mong ano eh. Kaya lang, yun lang, you have to be very careful in using the, uh, or including the stat, kung stat nyo, kung quality or quality. Nandun naman ang sekreto nun eh. Dapat alam nyo kung quality or quantity yung 
yung study ninyo. And the instruments, ang instruments yung kasi dito, pre-test, post-test. Sa mga classroom teachers kasi, that is your indicator eh, no? Malalaman natin kung uh, mababa o mataas through score, no? So, yan ang gagamitin nyo. Mag-pre-test muna kayo. And then, tignan ninyo kung... Uh, ang another issue diyan kung ilang grupo ng mga bata ang gagamitin niyo kasi depende din po yung stat sa bilang ng bata kung one group, two groups, more than that. Okay, kung, kung naka-quantitative po kayo no. So, isa pa din kinoconsider iyon. Okay, sabi nga dito kung yan ay teacher made test, nako dadaan po yan sa sa reliability and validity. Okay, kailangan natin po diyan ng statistician. Kung standardized naman yan, mas maganda. Pero check nyo din po yung items. Baka may mga items po doon na hindi naman po pwedeng isama doon sa study ninyo. Baka mamaya, mamali kayo ng description doon sa SOP ninyo or sa research question, hindi niya pala nasasagot. Make it sure yung description po ng survey nyo or ng question nyo dyan, kung yan ay mga question, baka mamaya, topic yan ng lesson ninyo, wala pala doon sa sa research question nyo, yung topic na yon tanggalin nyo na po. Okay? Kung standardize ang gagamitin. Alright, next. Okay, mga tips lang po yan. Sa data analysis, iyan po, iano nyo lang, how are you going to analyze the result of this course? Nakalagay naman po dyan, no Gumamit po siya ng independent t-test. If the data are normally distributed, another thing to consider po yun, pagdating sa population, ano, when we are taking sample, dadaan po yung quantitative yan, meron tayong tinatawag na normal at non-normal population. If they are normally distributed, independent t-test po ang ginamit. Kapag naman po non-normal, man-witness test. O may mga ganun po tayong dapat na i-consider. Okay po, yun medyo doon hirap yung mga new researcher, no, o yung mga beginners. And then, o yan po, tapos, syempre, dahil quantitative po ito, meron po tayo ditong p-values less than 0.05. So, that will uh, help us or our basis if our hypothesis is accepted or not. Kapag ang computed uh, value po na lumabas ay stat po na ginawa, kung yan po ay independent teachers, or man with me test, makikita po doon yung p-values, no? Kapag yan po ay less than 0.05, yun po ang siyang mag-confirm ng inyong hypothesis gamit ang stata or yung software, SPSS. Okay, next, sir. Okay, ito, medyo ano na lang po, bilisan na lang po natin, ano? When we are writing our conclusion recommendation, It should be based on the research question. Ito, tip ko na lang po ito sa inyo base po sa aking experience as a researcher, no? So, kasi may pattern naman po lahat siya para madalian tayo, no? Huwag natin kakalimutan yung ating SOP, okay? Ang SOP, from SOP to instrument to statistical tool, okay, to the findings, to the uh, conclusion and recommendation, dapat po iyan, may pattern yan. Yun lang po ang sundin nyo, hindi ho kayo mahirapan sa pag-arrange ng inyong mga ideas or ng mga discussion. Okay, ito, mga sample na lang po ito, uh, brief, brief, uh, ginawa ko na lang po siyang maize, pero mahaba po ang mga yan. Okay, for example, ito yung research question number four, what are the students' perception about how the work immersion experience orient them for career for choices? Okay, In writing a conclusion, dapat sumasagot yun sa research question mo. Pero yun ay basis sa findings mo. Yung sagot mo sa conclusion mo, basis sa findings mo, nasasagot doon sa SOP number 4 or research question number 4. Yan ang po, nasagot po ba siya? A very few number of students are not exposed to the right workplace since they were just given the test as secretaries or assistant to the school where they are enrolled. So that is that was one of the experiences of the senior high school students. And then what would... What, what is the recommendation for the conclusion? So, sabi dito, dahil nga hindi na-expose yung mga bata doon sa tamang lugar, sabi dito, you can recommend that to conduct or have the students profiled based on the students' struggles sense or choose the right venue for the work immersion students based on the students' track or strand. Okay. So, ganun, po, ganun lang po kasimple. Okay. Uh, anuan nyo lang po yung pattern. Dapat may pattern yan. Kayo mismo ang ang dapat uh, gumawa ng 
sarili nyo or mag-strategize that it's the right time in order for you not to have burden in writing, no? Next. Okay, so dyan na po halos, ano? Okay, so for the output na po, tapos na po tayo doon sa conceptualization ng research pa, no? For your output, ayan, so you have to develop a working title since meron na po kayong title kay Doc, uh, Doc Mary Ann. Okay, so tuloy nyo na lang po yun. Then, may research questions po kayong buuin at saka yung research framework. Yung mga pinakita ko pong sample sa inyo, pwede nyo pong gayahin yun. Alright. So, that's it. Thank you po. Sana po eh, natuto kayo sa aking uh, discussion about research process. Okay. Sure. Maraming maraming salamat po, Dr. Forbes ng Bataan uh, National High School for a very mm -hmm. informative, no? informative uh, research, no? preparation po natin para po doon sa ating pong, uh, plano no? na pag-aaral uh, pa lalo sa ating pong mga uh, school. Okay? So we are now to the uh, question and answer portion. No? Okay, question and answer po tayo. So, we invited our participant to collaborate with us to uh, to engage, no, para po dito sa ating magiging discussion. So, I have here Miss Cindy, no, Miss Cindy Alejandrino. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am, salita ka, ma'am. Ano po ang inyo pong uh, question sa ating pong speaker? Hello. Yes po, Ma'am Cindy, go ahead. Naririnig na po ako, Sir. Yes po, yes po. Okay po. Um, sir, shout out po muna ako sa SDO Cavite Province. Yes po, sige po. Shout out Headed po kayo. by Sir Romel Bautista. Yes po. At sa buong DepEd Malagundon researchers, kay Ma'am Beth, Ma'am Alicia, uh, kay Ma'am Lara, lalo na po dun sa aking principal po, nakasama ko po nanonood ngayon si Ma'am Sally. Hello po. Ang um, question ko po, Doc Janice, um, kasi po, kami po sa Deped Cavite po, mas oriented po kami sa um, basic po and action research. Ngayon po, ang tanong ko po, um, ang basic research po ba ay iba pa po ba siya dun sa applied research po na tinatawag? Actually, ma'am, I mean the same eh. The, the formats are the same actually if we compare, no? So, halos siya mas Opo. katulad na yung basic. Para walang ginagawa. Ah, okay po. Mm -mm. Yan. So, sinani mo siya. Sige mo. Kasi nakita ko po kanina, um, same po siya dun sa form ng basic research po na ginagamit namin. Yes, yes. So, halos magkapaliho lang din po, ma'am. Yes, ah. Uh, yes, okay, ma'am. Yan lang po, Sir Wax. Maraming pong salamat, ma'am. Okay, so uh, open pa rin po ang ating question and answer. Okay. Na nasagot na ba ni Ma'am? <laughs> nasagot na, no? Yes po. Yes po. Okay, so uh, Sir Ron, hanap po tayo dito ng mga question okay na, na hindi makapasok. Ito po yung question, Sir. Sige po. From Sir, from Sir Maxi Chico del Rosario. Is it okay po ba na may kasama sa paggawa ng action research? Kung pwede po, ilan ang possible member po? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, pwede kayo hanggang tatlo as a beginner, no? Or kung hindi man kayo beginner, medyo yung coverage ng research nyo or topic, eh, medyo malaki. So, pwede yun. Pwede yung tatlo. Mm -mm. Hanggang tatlo, sir. Okay. Any question pa, sir, Ron? Ito po po. Mula, mula kay Ma'am Irish Castillo of Santa Rosa. Ma'am, ask ko lang po if merong yung applied at action research ano yung, ano po yung ring research na tinatawag things po ring ring o oh, ring research po kasi actually we have different research ano ano based on the ano uh, purpose or intent intent so kung mapag-aaralan kasi natin ang dami-dami niyan no Sa PNU, actually, sa PNU, apat yata yung research formats nila eh. Base sa intent. Kung may ring, so actually yung ring kasi, uh, hindi ko pa siya na ano eh. Uh, pero yung research format, sir, or ma'am, based on the intent. Okay? okay so or purpose. So based on the intent or purpose. So yan po yung sagot po ni Dr. Forbes. Another question. 
Pwede po paki-verify kung may conceptual framework and hypothesis ba sa quality. Yan, sa quality. Okay. Qualitative. Okay. So, sir, meron po uh, optional. Okay, no? Meron kasi tayong optional, sir. Okay. It depends on the argumentation. Okay? Yung proposition mo. Kung may, oh. meron kang kailangan sagutin, <clears throat> magsulat ka ng hypothesis mo. Pero kung mm. wala, you will focus on the or answering the research questions. Pero yung conceptual framework is actually part of the literature. Okay? Mm. Why? Kasi dyan mo i-discuss or i-describe lahat ng variables mo no? Yeah, based on the support or with the support of the literature. Kasi kailangan natin scholastic yung study natin. Ang tawag natin dyan is scholarly work. Kasi research yan. Dapat may susuporta sa atin. So, very important meron tayong conceptual framework. Okay? okay. Kasi ako meron akong frame, uh, conceptual framework and hypothesis. Okay? Okay. So, yun po ang sagot ni Dr. Forber. So, uh, we have another question from Dione Aquino. Pwede po bang ituro sa senior high ang MRAD style? Or dapat yung basic na nandun lahat ang parts? Actually, if we just study the curriculum guide, that is an IMRAD style na eh, no? Sabi ko nga kanina, don't focus on the chapter number, no? Just focus on the parts, yung components niya. Kasi nakalagay doon, sige, pag i-revisit ninyo yung, yung curriculum guide, sundan nyo lang yon, yun din yon, Okay? Ka-IMRAD din yun. Okay. Ito, at saka sir, wax issue kasi yan sa school eh. Kung anong Apo. susundin. Sabi ko, just, po. Focus, uh, just focus on the learning uh, competencies or sa CG. Okay. Okay. So, Sir Ron, may tanong ka pa ba dyan? Mula kay Ma'am Chiki naungayan. Ma'am, kung pwede po ang magkakasama sa research, hati din po kami nakuha, nakuha kami sa grade, Ma'am. Hati sa? Hati daw sa grade. grade. Ayun. Hati sa grade, ibig sabihin, anong klaseng research ba? Teacher ba yan, sir, or estudyante? Teacher Kasi school. Kap- okay. Kung, di ba diba sabi ko kanina, pwede yung tatlo. Depende kasi yan, kung ano ba ang purpose ng paggawa mo ng research. If that is for the improvement of your classroom management, for example, eh, wala namang grade doon, no? Maliban na lang kung sa IPCRF nila, sa performance nila, kasama iyon. Okay? Yung research output nila. Pero kung gagamitin mo yung research output sa ranking, kung tatlo kayo, ay eh divided by 3 yun, base doon sa point system. Hmm. Okay, ganun talaga. Okay. Pero kung ayaw mo may <laughs> kung ayaw mo may kahati at magpaparang ka, sige, call a friend ka na lang. <laughs> yung talagang, <laughs> yung mga best friend mo na lang. Kung gusto mong, ikaw lang yung proponent. Okay? Oh, okay. So another question, Sir Ron, pakibasa. Um, Ma'am Chari Bell Campos Paulino, Ma'am, what is the most useful type of research in making action research about the effectiveness of instructional methods used in social science? Thank you po. Ano po, sir? Ayan, ano yung first is, ano po, question? The- what the most useful type of research in making action research about the effectiveness of okay. instructional methods used in social science. Okay. Kasi ito normally ha, uh, tip ko din sa inyo, kapag kasi intervention niya, nakabuo ka, nag-innovate ka ng something, uh, yan man ay uh, strategy mo, yan ma instructional materials mo, at uh, you want to uh, measure the effectiveness or the impact. So that is experimental. Okay? Experimental siya. Kaya lang, pag experimental, dapat alam mo din kung ilang grupo kasi uh, quantitative yan. Okay? Pwedeng comparative kasi may quasi-experimental tayo, no? Depende sa bilang ng grupo. Okay? Papasok dun yung independent, tites, mga ganun. Pero experimental, okay. normally ang ginagamit kapag intervention. Okay, so yan po yung sagot ni Dr. Purbes. Another question, sir, ito po, basahin mo, sir. Ito. Does the, action, 
or applied research need to be in line with your specialization to be counted for promotion? And is it automatically published once the completed action or applied research is submitted to the division office? Yan. Okay. So actually kasi, uh, normally kasi pag gumagawa tayo ng research, syempre doon sa alam na alam natin, di ba? Pero depende kasi... Kapag dito kasi sa amin, wala namang pinag-uusapan kung ano yung topic mo, basta makagawa ka ng research. Okay? Mas mainam yan, sir, kung dadaan yan sa division, ma-approve siya sa division. Kasi para i-identify no, yung iyong research work, kailangan ng certification. Tama So, yun ang importante doon, yung certification. Sino nag-certify niyan? And then, yung point system niyan, e eh, base sa level of governance. Tumataas yan kung school level, di ba? Korean ay division level, regional, national, international. Okay, so, wala yung problema sa topic, pero mas mainam kung yan ay uh, DepEd. Okay? Opo. Okay. Another question. Okay. Ma'am, what if tracer study po gamitin, gagamitin for research? How are we going to collect the data of the respondents in different areas? Can we consider online survey questionnaire for the collection of data? And what is the best sampling can be used? Tracer study kasi, uh, okay. So wala namang problema tayo eh, kung anong study ang gusto mong mangyari. Kaya lang, uh, make it sure na yung yung tinatawag nating research capability no meron tayong kinoconsider na research capability baka mamaya Ay, hindi may mga may mga dos and don'ts tayo so make it sure ready ka muna doon sa gagawin mo kasi kung tracer ano yan medyo ay, hindi naman ginagawa halos yan di ba uh, more on ano kasi madalang yan gawin so ano mo muna yung sarili mo i ready mo muna yung sarili mo mag conceptualize ka muna ng mabuti So, wala namang problema. Doon, kaya doon ako nag-focus sa conceptualization eh. Kasi wala na problema yung susunod doon. Kaya naituro ko na yung dapat kong ituro na sekreto ng mga researchers yan. Kaya kung dyan pa lang, ma mapag-aaralan nyo mabuti yan, kahit sa sarili ninyo, basa-basa na lang kayo. Okay? So, tingnan mo muna kung researchable siya. Okay? Okay, so yan po yung ating pong mga kasagutan with our question and answer. Okay, so marami po nagtatanong kung ano po yung magiging output po natin at kung saan po isi-send. So later po, I'll be posting po uh, a Google form para po doon po ninyo isubmit ang inyong mga output. So ano po yung mga output natin? Una-una, yung ating working title. So meron na po tayong tatlo na naisubmit. Pili na lang po kayo doon kung alin po ang inyong gagawing working title. And then... Uh, create your research questions and then your research framework and work plan. Okay? And then submit that sa form po na amin pong uh, ibibigay sa inyo sa link po natin sa Power INC. Okay? So, I think uh, over, ano na tayo, loaded na tayo ng learnings, no? Uh, napakaganda po na usapin tong uh, research kasi maraming guru po ngayon na interesado talaga mag-research kaya lang hindi po nila alam kung saan sila magi start Although uh, sa mga masters nila, no, doctorate nila, nakagawa na sila, minsan nawawala na po sila ng gana kasi nga, pabago-bago kasi maminsan mami. No? Oh yes, yung format. So, Iba-iba yung format. Anyways, no, kung talagang gusto nyo pong mag-research, maganda po yan. Okay? Kasi with research, marami po tayong magiging innovation. No? Nade-develop po natin yung mga bagay-bagay na gusto po natin aralin. Okay? So, Sir Ron, Maraming salamat sa iyo. Ganun din po sa ating uh, resource speaker na napakahusay, no? Nagtataka po yung ating mga participants. Ang dami-dami mo daw research. <laughs> Baka ah. pwedeng ibigay mo na daw sa kanilang iba, i-edit na lang daw nila. <laughs> gawa po tayo yeah. ng sa atin. Uh, sige, ma'am. Uh, basta pag nasa momentum lang kayo, gawa lang kayo. Ang sekreto diyan, may notebook kayo, no? At saka ball pen, may mag-pre-writing kayo kung ano yung mga ideas na magpapap diyan sa utak niyo. Sulat niyo lang And then, i-arrange nyo pag may time kayo. Okay. Tsaka, ano, sir, nagpapasalamat ako kay Sir Wax kasi actually, yes, ngayon, ngayon lang kami nakita ni Sir yes, Wax. Yes, ma'am. Nagpapasalamat uh, ako dahil pinagkatiwalaan niya ako no, na maging resources speaker ng kanyang, ano, 
nakakatuwa. Uh, marami salamat. Thank you, ma'am. Salamat din sa iyo, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Kasi alam ko marami pong marami pong guro na natuto ngayong uh, oras na ito para po sila ay ma-motivate na gumawa ng research nila sa kanila pong mga sarili-sariling uh, station. Okay mo, so muli po maraming maraming po salamat sa ating taga subaybay Yung pong output po natin, I'll be uh, posting it to our uh, Power INC group. Ako sa lipo no, lumalaki na po ang ating uh, members no with Power INC. Umabot na po tayo sa 6,000 may get no 6000 mahigit na members no congratulations okay. po sa ating lahat we promise you na that, that we will deliver all the possible learnings no para po uh, ma matulungan kayo sa inyo pong mga sarili-sariling mga classroom so once again Dr. Uh, Janice T. Forbes from Bataan National High School uh, salamat po maraming maraming salamat kudos po saludo po ang lahat ng guro sa ipinakita okay, nyo po po sa inyo uh, yes. lahat na ipamalas na karunungan no na alam ko po na lahat po ay nakat ay, ay nabigyan natin ng tugon okay so again no we will still have another series final po itong series na to for action and applied research formulation nag-iisip po kami kung ano po yung magiging culminating natin dito so uh, nag-iisip po kami na baka magkaroon tayo ng research presentation no since kayo po ay na-encourage na gumawa ng mga research i-present niyo po yan sa amin at ipapakita po natin yan sa lahat ng kaguruan sa buong bansa Okay? So muli maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, sa inyong pagsubaybay. Keep safe pa rin, Sir Ron. Huwag kang lalabas. No, hanggang May 19 pa tayo. Oh, hanggang May 19 pa po tayo. Okay. So, ilama po. Maraming maraming salamat. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. At shoutout pala sa kay Sir Marco Paulo Victoriano. Okay? Ang ating pong napaka bait na ano no, napaka supportive na kaibigan para po mag-assist po sa ating technical. Absent po siya for for the week kaya ako ako po yung gumagalaw-galaw ng ng ano ng computer minsan di ko alam wala pa lang audio. <laughs> Salamat po sa inyo la Sir Marco pumasok ka na. We love you. Sharon, bye-bye. Doc, bye-bye po. Doctor, bye-bye po sa lahat. Bye-bye po. Okay.